everybody welcome to my channel i wanted to share with you my bubble bistro order it is small but mighty it is a try me size order to get familiar with the company the owner is andrea she's out of tennessee but she do have other locations throughout the u.s that you can go into and do business with the one in memphis tennessee refer to her facebook group not group but business page and to her website for the open and operation hours. I placed an order for three items and I left in the comment section a um, item that I would like to try because I was deliberating backwards and forward if I wanted to purchase it or not. And because I'm trying to keep the order at a reasonable amount to get familiar with the company and the brand, I asked if she could send it as a free sample, and she did, y'all. Andrea did. And that item was her detox bar soap. My son is 14 years old. He's going on 15. His skin is acting wonky. My skin, 37 years old, is also acting wonky. Our issues are not exactly the same. However, we do need a detoxifying type of soap. So I asked if Miss Andrea would consider including in the box that I purchased, adding it to it or sending it as a free sample. And she sent it as a sample. So holla at your boy. I like that. I guess in my case, it's holla at your girl. I purchased... Honey Cream Lux Moisture Bar. And this is with Caribbean Rainforest Honey, Hemp, Goat Milk, and Shea Butter. And let me turn it this way. The ingredients is Caribbean Rainforest Honey, Kosher Vegan Glycerin, Coconut Oil, Apricot Oil, Goat Milk, Sweet Almond Oil, Shea Butter, hemp seed oil and hgo which is your daryl fred water you know what i'm saying and um i tried this because i like the way it was described on the website as a very moisturizing um, facial bar i think some people did use it as a bath body bar but i intend to use it as a facial bar for myself i'll be cutting a piece and for my son cutting a piece and so i'll let you guys know in a empties video what how did it perform for me but that's what i one of the items in which i paid for another item is organic vegan deodorant in the set sugar mama there's other scents available that you can select from this is two fluid ounces of deodorant you would twist from the bottom and it will push up this smells sweet and chocolatey to me. It does give off a very milk chocolate, white chocolate note. So I could be very, very wrong. And if it has chocolate in it, but it does smell like that to me. And it's fruity all at the same time. This is the first type of organic vegan deodorant that i've purchased and owned i normally use store-bought over the counter you know on the shelf off the shelf um deodorants and this is the first one that i've tr i'm trying um that's made by a vendor so i wanted to let you guys know about that and the last item that i purchased was her sugar pop sampler box and this is um, $25 excluding shipping and it gives you array of different products to try. You have different scent categories that you can select from and then Bubble Bistro will pick whichever ones of that scent category you know what falls into it so to speak. So what falls into that scent category they are added to the box. It can range from this or that, but they list on their website what that range consists of. I'm going to pause, cut right here, 
and we're going to get into the inside of this box. Be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've opened the box. It says the Cherry Pop Sampler Box. This box may include samples of any of the following. Soaps, body slush scrubs, oils, body butters, body frostings, lip butter, salt soap, bistro bath bomb, body mist, hand sanitizer, organic body wash, natural hair product, www bubblebistro.com y'all so let's see what my box has oh i'm already happy it contains a hand sanitizer boy your little phobia girl back here behind the camera really appreciate the hand sanitizer because i can get real anal about them clean hands let me um try to twist with one hand to smell without wasting Ooh. Oh my God. That smells like a fresh, ripe, peeled grapefruit, y'all. Um, oh my God. I, I like that. And what's interesting is in wax, I don't buy a whole lot of grapefruit. Mm -hmm. But I like that as a bath and body product. The next thing in here is mango papaya and this is in a cute little bath bomb that's so cute i like that and it's orange real real nice so this would definitely be one bath worth of product and i look forward to using that the next thing is a body oil and melanade and again, I'm trying to twist back here with one hand. I can smell the melon. It do have like an I'm an oil smell. But the melon comes through really nicely. I like that. And I'm twisting the bottle up. So just give me a minute. The next thing is Jolly Rancher. And I just want to say, I didn't just know about this company. I was on Diva Dab channel plundering and watching some videos. And Diva Dab, I wound up clicking on one of her videos, which was about the Bubble Bistro. And she was talking about how she smelled like Jolly Rancher. And I was like, um, I want to smell like Jolly Rancher too. So um, it started from there. And she mentioned Pal Scrappy Terry, who some videos I had already seen or watch but not the bubble bistro and that's odd because tamika got a lot of videos on um bubble bistro so i just went and started watching all the different uh videos out there about B bubble bistro but yeah i learned about it from diva dab mm -mm. Uh, Jolly Rancher smells like Jolly Rancher. And this is in the body butter. And let me see. Look, let me see because it's some videos be talking about, oh, the body butter is so hard. I can't hardly get it out. Uh, I'm rubbing it on. I scooped it out just fine. And it's applying to my skin and settled into my skin very well. It's absorbed very well. So, I don't know. That's just rolls to sand into the um, pot. So, body butter is really nice. Watching some of them videos would have made me very scared of the body butter. So, that's why I went with the sampler. So, that I could experiment with different products in the line. And determine what I would order in the larger size and what I would not. Peaches. And this is a body frosting. I'm sorry, y'all. I could pause and unpause and all that, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. Now, half of my body butter just spilled on the kitchen counter. And so, I would say the frosting, not butter, is a thinner uh, texture. And it rubs on like a, a thicker oil. Let me smell. Oof. Jesus. 
Oh, that smells so good, y'all. That smells very good. Oh, never mind that, because this little girl is going to use her butcher knife and scrape that right back into the drawer, because this has been cleaned with Clorox, so we can do that. All right. I have a bath bomb and grapefruit. I have another body oil and peaches, which I, I like. There's another body oil and grape. And I think um, Tanya video had grape. Um, Pal Scrappy to make a video had grape. Oh, I'm excited to sniff this. Hold on, y'all. Let me try to get into this. Shh. Stop. This smells like straight grape now, ladies. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. I like that. They they said it. They said that this company, no, it was about its business. I like that. I like that. And so far, the two things I've put on my skin transfer to the skin just fine. And it is fragrant on the skin. So, some sense you don't always smell on your skin as potent as you do in its original form. This transferred to the skin just fine. I can smell it. Okay, let's see. Let me hurry up, y'all. I have some bath salts and lavender, which is a favorite scent of mine. The next one is... Healing Oatmeal. Wow. Very nice picks for me. My oatmeal. And the next one is Citrus Uplift. So, three bath so soaps. We have some soap and sunshine. And it does smell, it has a citrus scent to it. The next one is watermelon. And I will speak to that. These are decent sized sample soaps. Um, you can definitely get some wash out of it enough to formulate an opinion and determine if you're going to, you know, repurchase. I like the watermelon. And the last one is lemon berry. And it smell like so. You can smell a lemon and you can smell a berry note for sure. So that's my Bubble Bistro um, order. And if you can see here, it does tell you the hours. Monday through Tuesday close. Wednesday through Saturday 10 to 7. Sunday 12 to 5. And I would imagine those hours apply to the Memphis, Tennessee location. 40 425 North Watkins Street, Memphis, Tennessee, 38104. Their phone number is 901-272-2300. So if you want to call and um, discuss what would work for you or their hours or what have you, that's the number for you to call. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm very happy and excited to make my next order. Have a blessed day. Peace.